Today we're going to just kind of we're going to walk you through what variations are. Yep. Uh, each character has three different variations, and we want to show what each matchup can do for you. We know you've seen a lot of videos that we've kind of you know choreographed and shown through our, through our marketing campaigns and whatnot. We want to show you what it's like in a real fight, like how we really fight each other. We're actually going to fight each other, not script it. Yep. Um, hold nothing back. It's game time. Right. Will we drop combos? Most yes. Of them. Okay, now here's another thing. The game comes out in April, so it's November right now. So what you're going to see right now is a build from Gamescom. So it's a, it's a little older. Uh, there will be things that will not be in the final game. Um, there will be reactions that are different. Uh, damage that's different, and some block infinites you might have seen will not exist. <laughs> so a lot of things you're seeing now will change. Um, and with that said, let's bring out our special... Oh, I forgot something very important. At the Command Tower. Command Tower. We have Jen, who's running the stream over here. Hey, Jen! Hello. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Are you pumped up? Totally pumped up. Let's do it. Cool. So we're going to bring in our guest. Uh, it's... Well, John? Come on over. Our first guest, first guest, John Edwards. John Edwards is a lead designer here at NetherRealm Studios. Yep, that is correct. How long have you been here? Uh, oh, several years. Several years, guys. Yes. There, several years. What's, what's some other games that you've worked on, John? Uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Never uh, heard of Armageddon, it. Armageddon, Gamers DC, MK9, Injustice, and uh, MKX now. Great. So like nine more games than I have. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, somewhere around there. Cool. You can follow John at Apathy Jones. He tweets about four times a year. Yeah, well, I, it keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, that's um, probably a good point. Yeah. Okay. I'll see what happens with you guys when you when you tweet things and. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. for mm -hmm. instance, when you tweet out when a stream's going to be, and you spell the name of the studio wrong. Yeah. That like, you've been working at for like a while. Like I did about twelve minutes ago. Yeah, I find I don't trust myself, so I just try not to. Uh, yeah, that's smart. To put yeah. it out there too much. I, like I, I fix that. I fix that. So we're going to talk today about variations. So John, um, the whole thing is variations are kind of changing what Mortal Kombat is. Yeah. Why? Why go with variations? What was what? Where did that decision come from? So I think one of the cool things uh, about the variation system um, in general is that uh, a lot of characters have played a certain way in every MK, right? Mm -hmm. So you have someone like Sub Zero, who generally is more like a tanky character, uh, you know, defensively minded, uh, things like that. Um, introducing the variation system allows us to kind of change up some of their core fundamental gameplay properties to make it where you can play the same characters in slightly different ways. Right. So you know, Sub Zero in the past, like I said, has been kind of you know slower. You know, brawlery type, more damage. Um, you know, with the freeze, obviously, allows them to set up you know combos and stuff like that. Um, with the different variation stuff, we can allow like a faster version of Sub Zero, right. where we can even more defensive. Or you know, we can change kind of change up the play style, so people that are used to Sub Zero can still play traditional Sub Zero, but then they also have some different takes on Sub Zero. So people that might not have um, gravitated towards Sub Zero due to his play style in the past, now they may be able to find a variation that uh, allows them to explore a new character in mm -hmm. a different way. Do you think the uh, variations are really important for the matchup game too? I think so. Yeah, I think people will be able to do like some some really cool like soft matchups and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so you may see you know defensive Scorpion, and you may, oh, cool, I'm going to go like a more offensive um, version of Sub-Zero. Sure. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to lead a lot into uh, to matchups, you know, challenging to balance and stuff like that, but I think it's going to open up a lot of um, a lot of new meta gameplay types. Yeah, awesome. when I talk to my friends who don't, like I have friends who don't play a lot of fighters, and they're like, well, what is it, I've seen this variation thing, what are you talking about? I, it, to me, because like, you know, a lot of them come from a shooter background, it's almost a loadout in a way. Like, you can choose yeah. the way that you want to play this character. Like, we talk about uh, Ferator, who's the big brawler character we have, and I play large characters. Oh. Now I can play without Farah on my back and get right in there and do damage, or I can actually zone with Farah, which is something as a brawler person I've never been able to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely try to make it so that um, people that may like the style of a character mm -hmm. or, you know, the visual of a character, something like that, um, if they have a particular play style that they enjoy, uh, they should be able to find a way to make that play style work with any of the characters. Excellent. Uh, you know, we actually have some questions. We should probably get right into it. Sure. Because um, I know people are like, would they please stop talking? Yeah. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's see, see some, some games. Some... Um, there will be reactions that are different, uh, damage that's different, and some block infinites you might have seen will not exist. <laughs> so a lot of things you're seeing now will change. Um, and with that said, let's bring out our special... Oh. I forgot something very important. At the Command Tower. The command Tower. We have Jen, who's running the stream over here. Hey, Jen. Hello. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Are you pumped up? Totally pumped up. Let's do it. Cool. So we're gonna bring in our guest. Uh, it's well, John. Come on over. Our first guest. First guest. John Edwards. John Edwards is a lead designer here at NetherRealm Studios. Yep, that is correct. How long have you been here? 
Uh, oh, several years. Several years, guys. Yes. There, several years. What's, what's some other games that you've worked on, John? Uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Never uh, heard of Armageddon, it. Armageddon, Gamers DC, MK9, Injustice, and uh, MKX now. Great. So, like, nine more games than I have. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, somewhere around there. Cool. You can follow John at Apathy Jones. He tweets about four times a year. Yeah, well, I, it keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, that's um, probably a good point. Yeah. Okay. I'll see what happens to you guys when you when you tweet things and. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. for mm -hmm. instance, when you tweet out when a stream's going to be, and you spell the name of the studio wrong. Yeah, that like, you've been working at for like a while. Like I did about twelve minutes ago. Yeah, I find I don't trust myself, so I just try not to. Uh, yeah, smart. to put yeah. it out there too much. I, like I, I fixed choices. that. I fixed that. So we're going to talk today about variations. So John, um, the whole thing is variations are kind of changing what Mortal Kombat is. Yeah. Why, why go variations, and we want to show what each matchup can do for you. We know you've seen a lot of videos that we've kind of you know, choreographed and shown through our, through our marketing campaigns and whatnot. We want to show you what it's like in a real fight, like how we really fight each other. We're actually going to fight each other, not script it, yep. um, hold nothing back, it's game time. Right. Will we drop combos? Most yes. Most of them. Okay, now here's another thing, the game comes out in April, so it's November right now. So what you're going to see right now is a build from Gamescom. So it's a, it's a little older. Uh, there will be things that will not be in the final game. Um, there will be reactions that are different, uh, damage that's different, and some block infinites you might have seen will not exist. <laughs> so a lot of things you're seeing now will change. Um, and with that said, let's bring out our special... Oh, I forgot something very important. At the Command Tower. The command Tower. We have Jen who's running the stream over here. Hey Jen! Hello. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Are you pumped up? Totally pumped up. Let's do it. Cool. So we're going to bring in our guest. Uh, it's, well, John, come on over. Our first guest. First guest. John Edwards. John Edwards is a lead designer here at NetherRealm Studios. Yep, that is correct. How long have you been here? Uh, oh, several years. Several years, guys. Yes. There, several years. What's, what's some other games that you've worked on, John? Uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Never uh, heard of Armageddon, it. Armageddon, Gamers mm -hmm. DC, MK9, Injustice, and uh, MKX now. Great. So like nine more games than I have. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, somewhere around there. Cool. You can 